Hello and welcome. My name's Necro, and today we're playing Dead by Daylight. Now, given that this is a completely multiplayer game, this is not going to be a new series. Instead, this is... I mean, it's part of a new series, but it's not just Dead by Daylight. I'm just going to do a series of just random online games and just try and have a bit of fun. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, when you get past all the awards and all the money and all the scandals, isn't that what gaming's meant to be about? So here we go. I'm going to try one game of Survivor. And I'll see if I can work in a game as killer in this episode as well. These aren't going to be overly long videos. But I mean, depends how long the games last. Now, if any luck, we're actually going to get to see the um the new killer, Legion, who I still do not understand how the fuck they work. I've not actually seen them in action. I guess I should try a different... As you can see, I really, I really stuck with one person. Yeah, I don't want a soloist. I would be very reluctant to use her just because she wears fucking bright blue clothing. Alright, so I mean, when I'm the killer, I mean, it's fucking great if one of the survivors is her because they fucking stand out. I mean, everyone else can kind of hide in the shadows a little bit, but her, no freaking way. Okay, so that is kind of irrelevant to us. Oh, that's a bad sign. Oh, there we go. Now, as games go, this is um, quite an interesting one. I mean, it's asymmetrical, but it's not exactly 4v1. It's more just 1v1, and then he's also versing another individual ones. I mean, it does help to work together, but since everybody wins or loses based solely on themselves, it's not always the case where people work together. And depending how the killer acts, they can either make that better or worse. So, for example, if you, if you have a killer who just focuses one person, then going your own way is actually the better way to go, and more people will live from that. Whereas if you've got a killer who goes for everyone you can, then working as a team is probably better. I mean, it depends on the situation. <clears throat> Still, I'm off to a good start. 
already found this first generator. Not sure what the killer is. Hmm. I'm guessing it's not the Doctor. As by now, the Doctor would have already been spraying their fear area thing. And we would have heard at least one person scream. Like the survivors, each of the killers are unique, but the killers, it's more pronounced, I'd say. Because whereas survivors, their perks are what are affected by who they are, killers are much more distinct. Like each of them have their own weapon, each of them have their own skill. Okay. I'm gonna guess that is the Legion. Not least because there was a tip saying how to survive the Legion in the uh, loading screen, so. But also, I've never seen that with any of the other killers. Now, this will be tricky because apparently the Legion is meant to encourage people to actually not work as a team. But then again, that isn't my playstyle. So, this will be tricky because. I the Legion knows that someone did something here. Also, apparently the Legion looks like just any other survivor, so it makes it even worse. Oh, and they they quit. That's a bad start. Or they disconnected. I'm going to assume quit, but... Oh, come on, don't... Oh, right, they're just waiting. Like a girl. See, that gets even worse given the fact that the killer... I'm sorry, not that someone else quit. Because if someone else had stuck with it, then... We'd still have a good chance. Because we already got one generator down. I mean, the thing is, that is technically a legitimate style, for, I mean, not style strategy for the killer to do that, but I mean, it's not, I don't know, it's not very sporting. It's a bit like, well, actually, it is camping. I mean, usually, I mean, I do understand the killer obviously wanted to stay near, but usually they have, like, at least enough of a distance that a person could run in and try to rescue. So it's just me and one other person. And unfortunately, I don't know which one that person is. Oh shit, the there. Oh fuck! Might have lost them. Yeah, I think I lost them. Jeez, that was lucky. Pretty unlucky how I got caught, but oh well. Jeez, where's the other one? I would have thought by now we would have had another generator go off. I don't know where the exit is, at least when I get the generator. Oh, here's the generator. Of all the places. You 
not, this is a shit strategy, but it might just work. And it worked. Oh no, that. Okay. Okay, come on. Just keep wandering around. Let's all see them. Oh, at last. Need to come to chest. Oh no. Let's see if I can do this to distract them. Not like my old here. This one's actually waiting, which is the smarter thing to do. When you get hooked, you're meant to wait. You're not meant to actually try and pull yourself up unless no one's making any moves to help you. But if someone is making a move to help you, then, you know, do wait, because A, you might distract the killer if, you know, they aren't able to get you. Go, run, be free! I don't know what you're trying to do here. I did the right thing. Here's the problem right here. If that other person hadn't disconnected, then that plan I just did would have probably worked. I mean, I could have distracted the killer, led them away, and then they could have rescued this person. It's not annoying to they're actually in a weird basement doing this. Usually the strategy that they're doing which is like standing right next to the victim does not pay off. They did actually come back. They did actually try to rescue me. Ah. 
might wonder why I was struggling there when it was already over, but you get more points for struggling. Some well, not a great result, but could have been a lot worse. Well, aside from the killer, obviously, because, I mean, they did kill three people. That was the top player. Points-wise, at least. 